Welcome to the Solid KM University channel. This video's topic is manipulating STL models using the Facet Model Editor. So the Facet Model Editor is actually a new option we've added in the more recent versions of, of Solid KM where you can actually manipulate the position and even sometimes the size of an STL model. STL models are very hard to, to work with uh, in some aspects. Uh, you're relying on how they were generated, what units they were generated in, and that sort of thing. Uh, and we've seen in previous videos that you can actually use those to assign them as stock. But what happens if the stock is correct, everything's on size, but you bring it in and it is not placed correctly? So I'm just gonna show my updated stock. This is just gonna be at the beginning of, uh, of the part. No operations have been applied to it. But where is it? Well it's actually not placed correctly. Uh, something about how it was generated or the originating model, the customer or the casting uh, company, wh whoever sent this to me, um, it is off. So how can we address that? Well, one thing we can do is we can go into the Facet Model Editor. So you right click on, on the cam part and you go to Open Facet Model Editor. And let's open that actual casting STL that they sent me. So this one right here. And you can see that it looks like it might be proper, whatever coordinate system it came in. But if I show all my coordinate systems, it's off. It's off by a bit. And if we take a look at where it used to be placed, it was actually off by a certain amount in the SolidWorks coordinate system, because that's probably the coordinate system it was based off of. It was off by a certain amount in the X direction, and it was off by a few angles. If I show that again, you can take a look at that. So it's off by that much right there, which I've already measured uh, from where all that is there. Uh, it's a, um, if you imagine that that is the original origin, then any measurements I take in this coordinate system should help me to place that. And that's basically what I did. I, I did a measurement of where my new origin from Mac 1 position 1 is, and that's about 25.1 inches in this X direction. And in terms of angles, well, I just kind of eyeballed it when I got into the Facet Model Editor. So let's take a look at actually what I did. So um, the STL file came in, and the STL file, STL file appears to have maybe three solids in there. So I'm just going to see what those solids are. The first two, I think, are just miscellaneous surfaces, maybe some garbage that came in. I'm just going to get rid of those. So I'm still inside that original STL file. I'm actually manipulating it in this window. So I've deleted those excess. Um, surfaces or solids. We've got our original solid here. I'm just going to click on that. And now let's mo start modifying it. So in the coordinate system that we're working with, the CAD coordinate system, let's move that in the X positive direction by 25.1. Okay. And let's shift that or rotate that in the various directions. So uh, if we're looking at this, we pretty much want to flip it uh, around the y-axis. So let's do a y-axis. Let's put that as negative 90. So if we take a look at what we've done there, we rotated that around the negative 90. So the bottom of the part should now be where it is. Now, again, I have both windows open so I can kind of see what shifts I need to do. This is the facet model editor of an STL file. Again, STL files, they're somewhat hard to deal with. What we're doing with this window is making it a little easier to actually kind of visualize what needs to be done, but it definitely is gonna rely on knowledge of, of the incorrect placement, meaning that I was able to take that measurement there and move it in there. Uh, now, now that we have it in the right spot, uh, it looks like we might need to actually rotate it around now the X direction. So let's see what happens when we get that. We need to have those two tabs facing the Z direction. Okay, so that means I should rotate this around X. Let's do negative 90 on that one. And there we go. So I have that face, or that face on this part here, facing our Z positive direction from the SOLIDWORKS coordinate system. So that should be correct. So now that I've manipulated this, I'm gonna save it. Let's do a save as. And let's call this corrected, corrected stock. So I'll just click open. And 
As an STL, there's a lot of information there, so we're just going to let this um, calculate a little bit. You can see that uh, there's a list of the commands that I've added, commands as in just the shifts, the rotates. You can also see that you can actually do scaling as well. So now that we've done that, let me just hide the old stock. We'll go into our stock definition. And this is actually the easy part. We'll go back into SolidCam and just point it at the new STL. So go to my list of STLs. We'll go to our corrected stock. Click OK. Click green check mark. Again, STL files can be large files. So we're going to let this sit for just a few seconds here. And we'll see that it should line up correctly. The purpose of this would be if you have the original CAD model from the, the customer, the client, or you've designed it yourself, and now with the STL of a laser scanned casting or forging, anything that is not an original CAD model, such as maybe an IGES file, step file, parasolid, if you have it as a um, um, anything other than an STL, usually it's easier to import it inside SOLIDWORKS, get it to be translated, and then mate it. Mating is so much easier. But this is in the case that you are getting uh, geometric data from something like a laser scan, which is going to generate an STL file. It will have its own reference points. So you will definitely know those measurements that, that, I, that I just uh, alluded to in my, my correction of my STL model. But you will know where the STL is sitting relative to its own CAD space. And then when you do that, you can line it up using the FASTA model editor, as I've done here. You can see my transparent stock overlaid with my part. So easy enough. Uh, once you know where your STL model is sitting, you can use the facet model editor to manipulate it in such a way that you can actually line it up and then use it as the stock inside of your operations. Any questions on this or anything else from SolidCam, just give us a call at 1-866-975. 1115 extension 2. You can send us your parts, your questions via the ticket system at solidcamsupport.com. And stay tuned for the rest of the, of the videos on this YouTube channel. And uh, thanks for watching.